The eyes are on the Jersey Shore. I am Vin Avenue in Seaside Heights at Cheesesteak Louis with owner TJ Pearl, who has some good eats for all of you this summer and, and moving forward, too. So, TJ, um, Cheesesteak Louis, I mean, I guess you sell a couple different kinds of cheesesteaks, right? Or is it this more of like a chicken and hot dog establishment? Well, Vin, first of all, thank you for having me. I really appreciate that. Now, we're not just cheesesteaks, although we do make the best cheesesteak in town, as it reads on my shirt, where we slice everything fresh. It's all fresh ribeye. But we also do cold sandwiches, and we're pretty good at those, too. We serve fries, we serve tater tots, and we serve hot dogs. And then we just introduced kids' meals, right? So kids can't eat the entire sandwich. It's a lot of sandwich. Um, so, we, you know, we cut it in half, and we like to serve the kids as well. Family fun for everything, for all ages. Yeah, well, we're here in Seaside, so we're looking to have some fun at the Jersey Shore, right? That's why people come down here. They want to have some fun. And you know what? They want some good eats, too. And in a great location. I mean, you, you look down the street there. Uh, you're, you're on boardwalk, uh, right by the boardwalk, the, the beach over there. So you get a nice view. You go around the corner. I know you got some picnic tables there. We're, we'll show you in a, in a second here. But um, So great indoor, outdoor location. How did, when did you start this up? How did it, how did it come to be? Right, so I worked at a deli for the past eight years, and I was manager there for the past five years. And, you know, I actually make an excellent product, and I figured, you know, there's actually uh, there's a dead end here at this job. So I figured, why not create my own culture and my own identity? So then I decided, you know what? Cheesesteak Louis it is. And it's a funny story, really, because I wasn't going to be here in Seaside. I actually kind of stumbled upon it by chance. And, uh, well, the stars aligned, and here we are. And and, a, and an Ocean County native yourself from from Jackson and everything, so you kind of know you kind of know what what's going on around Ocean County, around Seaside Heights. You kind of been here your whole life. So I mean, what are the, I mean, what what drew you to here here to Seaside? What are some of the things you like about Seaside Heights that you know you'd like to offer to the residents that are here year round as well as those coming here in the summer? Well, yeah, I grew up in Jackson. I, you know, I've been in Jackson for 23 years of my life, and uh, I'm very familiar with Seaside. You know, we spent a lot of summers down here, a lot of summer nights down here, especially after 21, bar hopping. We used to have a lot of fun down here, so I, I'm in love with the location, man. I've been, you know, I know Seaside pretty well, and uh, once I found out that there was a, a property, you know, available to me, I decided, you know what, let's bring some food, let's bring some love, let's bring some excitement to Seaside, you know, and uh, I'm really excited about it, and what I can offer the town is, uh, aside from great food, we offer a lot of laughter, you know, and, um, and uh, we really, you know, we just we offer a really good culture around here, you know, and that's really what I want to bring to the community. For what you bring inside with the cheesesteaks and all the great food in there, uh, in terms of just the cheesesteak itself, what goes into making the perfect cheesesteak? You know, everybody's, I guess, got their own way of doing it, their own recipe, no matter which place you go to around Jersey, Philadelphia, New York, whatever. Everybody's kind of got something similar, but something different about the way they make a cheesesteak. How do you, how do you put your cheesesteaks together here? Right. Well, so everywhere you go, or a majority of the places you're going to go, is you're going to get that six to eight ounce frozen patty that they just slap on the grill and they beat into oblivion, right? And then they smother it and they coat it in cheese and onions and things of that nature, right? But what, what we do here is a little different. I slice all my red by fresh, right? And I throw it back on the grill. But that's not what's most important. What's most important is the passion behind it, okay? And the consistency behind it. Every sandwich that I make, I make it like I'm making it for my mother, okay? And I make sure that every customer enjoys that cheesesteak. And there's no doubt about it, they do. And I think that's a great approach. You know, you, you, know, you hear so often, you know, about what you would do for your own family is what you should do for others instead of just kind of you know, okay, this is just another sandwich or another cheese steak or something like that. And I think that's a great way to do it. I think that's what people want. People want to know that when they come to somewhere to get something to eat, that it's going to be the best thing that they're having that day. Uh, I couldn't agree more with you. I couldn't agree more with you. And we're also different in the aspect of the hot dogs. A lot of people around here, they, you know, they grill their hot dogs. They barbecue their hot dogs. Not here at Cheesesteak Louis. At Cheesesteak Louis, you get a deep fried hot dog and it's delicious. And then we're going to implement a whole bunch of different cool challenges and cool different ideas, you know, onto our menu. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, we're different. We're, we're different for a reason. And, you know, don't, don't take my word for it. Come by, check it out. I mean, that's, that's a, it's another example. I mean, I could talk about it. TJ could talk about it here. But in, I guess unless you come here, I mean, you'll truly be able to know and judge for yourself once you come here. I'm sure it'll be a, a pretty above satisfactory, pretty excellent experience. Oh, well, it's definitely a big learning experience for me. This is my first time, you know, that I took you know, I took a dive into the deep end here. And uh, But this is, I hope for the, this is not my first store, okay? If this place does well, I plan to branch off and, you know, and do a whole bunch of different Cheesesteak Louis locations. But I need the support from my community, you know, and uh, I'm more than welcome to give back and I want to become part of it, you know, and uh, that's what we are here at Cheesesteak Louis, right? We want to become family. We want to become friends. We want to learn everybody by their name. We want to learn their order, you know? We want to become part of it. You know, when you walk into Cheesesteak Louis, you're more than just a customer to us, okay? Here at Cheesesteak Louis, you become family. 
And I think a lot of people like that social interaction too, whether it's food or going somewhere to get business done. They want to be able to feel like it's a friendly experience, like you could talk and be relatable and that it's not just going somewhere, grabbing it and going. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. You know, when you come here to Cheesesteak Louis, you know, we feed and we feed well. It's like coming to Sunday dinner here at Cheesesteak Louis. You know, when you come, when you walk to the door, we're going to greet you by first name as long as we, you know, we get to know you. And, uh, you know, we're not going to be like the, the robotic, you know, the corporate lo- ro- the robots, you know. It, it, we bring flavor to everything. We don't answer the phone the same way. We don't talk to everybody the same way. We bring personality into Seaside. And I think that's super important. And what, are, what are some of the things you're looking forward to this summer here Cheesesteak Louie wise with uh, a lot of people things opening up in a pandemic world thing as health metrics are heading in a more positive direction more people are going out and about certainly this summer people are already booking up hotels or have plans to go to the beach and the boardwalk more this summer or head to Seaside Heights Seaside Park and kind of the the uh, Northern Barrier Island here and even beyond um, with what you're expecting this summer you know, some fun things you're looking forward to having? Yeah, you know, we're definitely going to start implementing, you know, different things into Cheesesteak Louis, but we really hope the community thrives this summer. You know, Seaside is such a beautiful town, and it offers so much to the people here at Seaside. And, uh, you know, even growing up, we just want things to get back to normal, you know, and I hope that everybody in Seaside has a fun, prosperous, and very profitable season. That's what Cheesesteak Louis hopes. TJ, thanks for the time. Thanks for sh- giving us a little bit of a look and sharing with us what Cheesesteak Louis is all about and what people can expect. Of course, again, you know, try it for yourself, but TJ's got a, a good start here. So give him a shot, let him know what you think, and then uh, and then pass that word along too. So appreciate your time and, and uh, for opening this up. Oh, Vin, it's a pleasure. And uh, yeah, please, guys, come check out Cheesesteak Louis. All right, I love to feed, and I think you're going to be really happy that you stopped by. And TJ, TJ's a fun, happy guy here and, and get to know him. He's, he's my new friend here in Seaside Heights. So make sure you come and say hello. Try out a cheesesteak. Try out some of their, their great food that they got here at Cheesesteak Louis in Seaside Heights. And then share that experience with others. And then send me a note as well. Let me know what other food establishments around Ocean County and Monmouth County that you're interested in as well. We could all help each other out. So thanks again to TJ Pearl here at Cheesesteak Louis in Seaside Heights. I am Vin Ebenu, and thank you for watching another episode of Eyes on the Jersey Shore.